Welcome to Miss Christie's at home classroom. This is our pet bruiser. I figured since we're talking about baby animals, I would introduce you to him. He needs a haircut. His hair is pretty long, and um, but we can't get him to the vet to get it cut. So he's just getting nice and shaggy. Huh? Can you say hi? Say hi. Dallas can say hi. We'll introduce you to Dallas tomorrow. Thank you, Bruiser. You're dismissed. Go ahead. <laughs> he's been sitting and watching me take the videos. Yes, and he's very curious as to who I'm talking to. So I thought I'd introduce him to you as well. <laughs> oh, he's under the easel. All right, boys and girls, we have a new day. I'm glad that you are all tuning in this morning. Um, I want to remind us, we don't have our helping hands um, chart. I didn't bring that here because none of you can participate in, in these jobs, but I want to remind you that at the top of that sign, it says helping hands. And it was ways that you could help around the classroom. But there are ways that you can help at home. So some things, some ideas that you could do at home to be a helping hand would to make sure you put your dishes in the sink or maybe in the dishwasher. Maybe any trash that you have after lunchtime or dinner time, you can put in the trash can. Or if you take out some toys, your helping hand job should be to put the toys away, right? We do that at center time. At the end of center time, what do we do? We clean up our toys, that's right. Miss Chrissy's not there to ding the bell and say it's time to clean up, but I know all of you know how to clean up. So I want you to think today of how you can be a helping hand to your mom and dad. Okay, so maybe it's cleaning up after your playtime. Maybe it's putting your, your dirty clothes in the laundry basket, or maybe it's just um, putting your dirty dishes in the sink. I wanna hear about the ways that you are a helping hand at home. All right, so today, oh goodness gracious, here it is, here's my pointer. So today um, is a special day. Today is the last day of March, and then we're gonna be moving into a new month. Isn't that exciting, a new month? We're still in the month of, anybody know what month we're in? It's the last day. Mm, it starts with the letter M. We're in the last day of March. March 2020. That's right. Let's count together. This is a lot of counting, boys and girls. We're going to have to figure out what comes after 30. I hope you guys all know. Here we go. I want to hear you. I want you to count so loud that I can hear you all the way at my house. Just kidding. If your moms and dads are working, you can count the all right, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. There are 31 days in the month of March. That is a lot of days. 31. Let's count it again together. I just had this thought. Since we're doing baby animals, let's kind of talk in a baby animal voice. Can you count with me in a baby animal voice? Ready? What animal are you pretending to be? I'm pretending to be a baby mouse. You could be a baby kitten. You could be a baby kitten. Or a baby, baby dog. This is a baby dog. I don't know. Pick your baby noise, your voice, baby voice. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Good job. Good counting. <laughs> I hope your voice doesn't hurt from that. Oops, what am I doing? I wonder what day of the week it is. Can you sing the song with me? And I want you to try to clap, okay? Remember we do that? We clap.
stop when my pointer is on the 31. And let's see if you then can still remember what the day of the week it is. Ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. It's a little bit harder to remember what the day of the week is when we have to clap, clap, clap on it, right? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Anybody remember what we, what we said? Yesterday was Monday. Does that help anybody? Tuesday, that's right. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday starts with the letter T. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. And boys and girls, this is the day that the Lord has made. I want you all to rejoice and to be glad in it today. If you're feeling a little grumpy or a little cooped up, I want you to turn that frown upside down. Give a big, big smile. Give yourself a big, big hug. Sometimes you just need a big hug. I wish I could hug you, but I am glad that you are all home and healthy and doing well. And I'm glad that Jesus loves us. Are you glad that Jesus loves us? I almost certainly am. Oof, I almost forgot. I'm off my routine. What's the weather? I wonder what the weather is like today. Can you sing the song with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All together. What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Put those, but not, oh, not yet. We're gonna do the motions first. Ready? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy or windy? What's the temperature? What's the temperature? Is it hot? Or is it cold? I want you to put those binoculars on, scamper off to the window, and come back with a full report. Is it raining? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? I hope it's sunny on Tuesday. That would be nice. All right, I hope you're back. Are you back? So we're gonna move on to the question of the day. The question is, does your name have an O, the letter O? Is there a letter O in your name? Abraham, I want you to look at your name, Abraham. Is there a letter O in Abraham's name? No, Abraham only has the letter A vowel in his name. Adomba, Adomba. He has the letter O, it's right there, it's the third letter. Adomba is a yes. Harper. Harper. Does Harper have the letter O? No. Harper does not have the letter O. What about Elena? Elena. Does that have the letter O? A or O sound in it? Nope. I don't see the letter O. What about Aiden? Aiden. Nope, he has an A, I, D, A, N, but no O. Oh gosh. What about Addison? Addison. She does have an O. It's right there towards the end. Addison is a yes. Paige. Does Paige have an O? No. Paige does not have an O. What about Logan? Logan has an L right there. L-O-G-A-N. Logan is a yes. Ein. Does Ein have an L? Nope. What about Emmett? Emmett, do you have an L in your name? Nope. How about our last one? Ellie. Does Ellie have an L in her name? Nope, Ellie doesn't have an O. She's a no. Wow, which one has more? Yes or no? Does the yes or the no side have more? That's right, the no has more. Up until here, 
were equal. So how many more does no have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. No is five more than yes. Let's count how many total in each, in each um, column. Are you ready? Let's count the yeses first. One, two, three. We have three yeses. Do you think Mrs. Magic Marker can write a three? Let's find out that she can write a three. Magic Marker, make a three. Is that a three? No Magic Marker, that's an eight. Silly Magic Marker. That's an eight, that's not a three. Let's try it again. Maybe you guys can help her. Can you draw a three with your finger? Three. Let's see if she can do it now. Is that a three? Thumbs up if she did it. Thumbs up, good job, magic marker. Now the no is going to be higher than three, right? Let's count how many no's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, eight no's. Mr. Magic Marker, Mrs. Magic Marker just wrote an eight and she was supposed to write a three. Now you're supposed to write an eight. Thumbs up if you did it, thumbs down if you did not. Did you make a, an eight? Yes, you did. All right, so hopefully all of us are here today and let's count to see how many are all here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All of our friends are here today. How wonderful. All right, let's look at our letter of the week. And that letter is the letter O, right here, the letter O. And I'm going to pull out an animal that starts with the letter O, an animal. There's a lot of animals that start with the letter O. That's why I picked O for this week. And plus eggs open, right? Eggs, when they hatch, they open up. What animal do you think it is? I'll give you a clue. It lives in the water and it has eight legs. And it starts with the ah, ah, ah sound. Octopus, that's right. Octopus starts with the letter O. Let's sing our song together, shall we? Octopus starts with the letter O, letter O, letter O. Octopus starts with the letter O, ah, ah, octopus. All right, boys and girls, that's all for today. I hope you have a wonderful day.